Hi everyone, my name is Chidebele Constance Obichi, an assistant professor of nursing. I am delighted and honored to be among the chosen presenters for the 2021 IUN Celebration of Faculty Research. My presentation today, titled Sustaining the National Healthcare System, is an outcome of my collaboration with the IUN School of Business and Economy, IU Interprofessional Practice and Education Center, and IU School of Nursing all, all in Indianapolis. I want to thank my cam uh, our campus for recognizing my chapter in this book published in February 2020, just before the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown started in the US. Also, I want to say thank you to Dr. Sela Durai, the director of IUN Small Business Institute and the editor of this book for picking up his phone when I called him to propose this chapter and for making sure that I beat deadlines. I thank my co-authors, Dr. Newton, who is a physical therapist and also an assistant professor at the IU School of Medicine and the director of interprofessional practice development, and Dr. Oruche, who is a nurse, a mentor, an associate professor at IUPUI and IU School of Nursing director of global programs. My chapter deals with interprofessionality as a pathway to a more sustainable national healthcare system. When my proposed chapter got approved, I designed the chapter and divided it into three sections and set out to find passionate collaborators who would work with me to make the chapter a reality. It was an uphill task, but my co-authors came through and joined me in completing the project. Although this is my second chapter in a book, working with editors and co-authors has motivated me to start a book project. I am thankful to be a nurse because I instinctively advocate for my patients. I could call a doctor to change a pain medication that is not working for my patient or assist a dying patient to talk to family members about their end of life wishes. Therefore, when I hear about a wrong patient in the operating room, wrong site surgery, and death from heart attacks following a discharge from the emergency department, the advocate in me begins to ask how, why, and what can we do to prevent these from happening again and again? It might interest you to know that preventable medical errors are the third leading cause of death in the United States, with an incidence range of 210,000 to 400,000 deaths per year, and an estimated cost within 19.5 billion to 958 billion per year. PME has persisted across the nation, and preventing it has become the responsibility of the entire healthcare team. But I stand here today to invite everyone under the sound of my voice to arise to the task of preventing PME. We can do this together. According to the Institute of Medicine, most PME in the healthcare system are caused by poor team collaboration and care coordination, particularly when patient care was provided by independent providers. Therefore, effective collaborative interprofessional teamwork may serve to avoid and mitigate medical errors. Just imagine a patient, which could be you or me or a loved one. You have one provider for your ear, nose and throat, another one for your brain, another one for your teeth, and yet another one for your eyes. And maybe none of them knows what the other is doing on this one head. We haven't even gone below the chin, it's just the hair. In the long run, nursing advocacy is not about force. It is about collaborating with others to ensure that healthcare cost is reduced and that patients receive high quality care that is safe and ethically sound. Nursing advocacy is the healthcare, is to healthcare what string instrument is to an orchestra. The healthcare system is like an orchestra. The orchestra combines instruments from different families which are unified by a set tempo that shapes the sound of the ensemble. These instruments must be in sync to produce the harmonious and satisfying sound that offers the patron an opportunity to experience the power and passion of classical music. The conductor and composer keep the orchestra together. Both are transparent as they work together to understand and convey the music in such a way that the musicians can translate the music into sounds that satisfy the patron. Our patients are patrons in the healthcare orchestra. Since the 1900s, healthcare reform has remained a national issue that impacts all Americans. 
Current reform efforts have recognized patients, their families, and communities as stakeholders in redesigning healthcare. No matter the political garment that stakeholders wear, limited interdependence and lack of coordination among health and education systems produce inadequate quality and high cost of health care that results in suffering among diverse, uh, diverse populations in the U.S. Redesigned models of care may lose value without a workforce that is adequately trained to effectively coordinate implementation of the care models. Regardless of the model of care, America is overdue for a coordinated health care system in which interprofessionality is adequately implemented among educators, you and I, practitioners, researchers, and policy makers at all levels of the health, education, and social systems. Our chapter describes the current state of interprofessional education, interprofessional clinical practice, and interprofessional research. It highlights issues in all three areas and identifies emerging interprofessional clinical practice models and prefers solutions and recommendations that may facilitate a more sustainable healthcare reform. The advocate in me continues to ask questions, and I would like to share some of them with you. Why do we have so much chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes? How did we end up with a mental health pandemic inside a COVID-19 pandemic? Why does it take so long to translate research into practice? How do we save money? Can interprofessionality sustain healthcare systems in developing nations? Finally, it is my hope that we continue to value and respect each other's unique talents and find spaces to work together cooperatively and transparently to sustain the things we do in our individual professions, sustain the interventions we provide to our patients so that we can sustain the national healthcare system. It takes a village. Thank you.